Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Mommy So True. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> guys, I am back today talking to you about the power of the awoken empath. If this is for you, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not subscribed to this community of thriving empaths, this community of awoken chosen beings. There's so much power behind waking up to the core sense of who you are. Today, I'm just gonna talk to you briefly about how fulfilling and amazing it feels to walk into the best version of yourself. Many of us were doing that because we are healing after dealing with some type, some type of narcissistic, abusive love cycle or family dynamic system. And the biggest part about where we're at now in life is finding ourselves, taking our power back. And a lot of us are discovering who we are, discovering what we are, discovering our, our real core values that take us to our true self. A lot of us were discovering and waking, we're waking up to a lot that we've been dismissed about when it comes to us. You know, we've been just dogged out, cast out, ruled out. But thank God for healing. Once you make it up in your mind that you are going to heal because you're not taking any more of what you've been taking after learning what it is, you're like, okay, I am going to take my power back. And some people, before you even learn what it is, you felt that it was necessary to take your power back. You cut your own family off. You walked out of that relationship. You left it alone, painfully and all. You walked away and you have not turned back since. Why haven't you turned back? Because you have awoken. You are now a realized impact. You see so clearly what you were blind to before for many years, maybe. And the biggest, most fulfilling part about this is being that person who knows. I can be sensitive and I can be soft. I can be willing to love, willing to hear you out. But at the same time, I do not have to take no shit. I must know that I gotta set solid boundaries to protect me, protect my peace, protect my energy. This abuse will teach you that everybody is not like you. Everybody is not highly sensitive to things like you, so they cannot show up for you the way you would show up for them. That's why it feels like you're lonely and going through this by yourself. But there's, there's nothing greater than embracing that. Feeling proud and confident in walking alone, being alone, standing firm on boundaries that everybody else is against because they get mad when you say no. They don't like you when you say no. They can't seem to stand you when you have been forced to reintroduce yourself because of their abuse. That's what narcissistic abuse does. It forces you to have to wake up, reintroduce yourself because they thought you were just this emotional punching bag. They thought you were gonna just subject to their demands for the rest of your life. But a part of taking your power back was waking up to it, refusing not to pay attention to it, refusing to stop doubting what you feel. You've always felt it. The awoken empath is the one that I'm gonna hold on to what I feel because I know I'm right. I don't care how anybody feels, how they see it, their perspective of it, how they're defining it, how they feel like I'm being mean, it does not matter. I know why I am moving, how I am moving, why I'm saying what I am saying. I know because I know what I put in and I know what I'm not getting back. That's the awoken impact. I know what I've given 
And I know what I'm not getting. And I also understand that most people will dwell in that victim playing mindset. And when you catch on to that, now you're the bad guy. You're the bad guy because your strength is overriding all of this, you know, whining, complaining, crybabiness, blame shifting. It's everybody else's fault. And I'm like this because of this. And I'm like that because of that. The awoken empath recognizes other people's weaknesses as well as their own. That's the emotional intelligence. But you're you're be you're able to self-reflect and introspect. This is a major sign that you are walking in the best version of yourself when you're willing to reflect, pay attention to how you're feeling, why you're feeling it, where it's coming from, and then also notice it from other people. So you're able to make wiser decisions based on strengths and weaknesses. You're able to focus on what you need to develop and improve. And then you also pay attention to those people, where they need to develop and improve. And in the, in the, in the mind of a weak person, they'll call you critical. They'll say you're judgmental to a certain extent. <laughs> a strong person has to be able to judge. I have to be able to criticize the, the situation, observe it and say, this is what I'm noticing. Because I trust my intelligence. I know what I know. You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree, but I'm going to trust my intelligence. Because I introspect and I understand where my intelligence is coming from. I understand because I have the ability to understand my thoughts and my emotions and my behaviors. And so if I hold someone accountable because they're lacking in ways where it's affecting me, I cannot feel bad for that. That is the awoken empath. That is the realized empath. Walking in the best version of yourself, man, being able to cultivate resilience when you face challenges, going through Healing life, a healing life after narcissistic abuse can be tough, challenging. There's so many losses and setbacks that you have to overcome. But man, life is full of obstacles and setbacks. And as we go through them, we develop and we grow strength and we build resilience and we're able to bounce back from things that is that are meant to knock us down and keep us down. <laughs> the awoken impact, man. Prioritizing your self-care and your mental well-being now. Making sure that you're taking care of you and this mind. The commitment to yourself. Whatever that looks like for you. Committing to exercising, meditating, pursuing hobbies that you love. And not allowing no one to get in the way of your personal growth. This includes seeking medical and professional help in ways that you may need. That is taking care of yourself. That is the awoken empath. That, that is a beautiful place to be. Somewhere you're, you were never supposed to get to because when you're here, it shows that you're practicing a lot of self-compassion. <laughs> a lot of self-acceptance. You've been forced to have to doubt yourself and believe that you're something you're not because you're dealing with weak people who refuse to take accountability for their true selves. So they've tried to twist your mind to believing that you're faulty to cover up their, their real faults. And so you have to deprogram yourself and having self-compassion goes a long way trying to take your power back and healing from this. Because when you do that, you allow yourself to step into this place where you can now live in alignment with your values and your authentic self, man. Being able to look at the situation and say, you know what, this is who I am. I understand 
why I am here I am, why I am where I am. I know where I want to be and where I'm going. I still want to actively pursue my goals and my visions in life. I still have a dream that I want to live through. I want to see it through. Speaks volumes of your integrity. Speaks volumes of how real you are to yourself. To, to be able to embrace a growth mindset that awoken empath must be willing to live in alignment with their values and their true sense of self. This is where you will find full, authentic happiness, joy, and peace. No matter what comes your way, you'll always be able to trigger your mind back to where you're trying to go. Because a real one doesn't just become what society wants them to be. A real one doesn't live their life trying to please people who've been after them, people who've been abusing them. A real one gets to a point where they wake up and they recognize how real they are. They become, they become strong, tough, and confident. It scares a lot of people. But a real one is not afraid to look in the mirror, identify their wrongs, take responsibility for what they've done, and try to face it and correct it. Because part of that core value is standing true to who you are and what you say and what you stand for because you, you want that from other people. That's why one of the biggest parts of living in the best versions of ourselves as, the, as an awoken empath now is is wanting to build those positive relationships. The only thing you're looking forward to is relationships that are in alignment with who you are and where you're trying to go. If they, if it, do, if it, if it doesn't make sense, it troubles you, it worries you, it concerns you. And thank God for your resilience because as soon as you pick up on that feeling, you know it's time to cut off. It's time to pick those scissors up. It's time to walk away. It's time to realize that you are high valued around a, a bunch of low frequency type people and it's time to go. Whether it's a job, an apartment complex, a neighborhood, I'm packing up and I'm leaving. Because I'm awoken and I understand that I don't have to put up with it. I don't have to deal with it. I don't have to sit there and endure it. <laughs> no. I'm awoken. I can never fall asleep again to the point where I can see it and I can feel it when I disappoint someone with my no. Most people know you're an empath and that's why they try to use you. That's why they always got their hand out when you're around. But trust me, as soon as they feel that you're on some no shit. I ain't doing it. I don't got time for it. That's not my job. That's not my problem. That's a you thing. You deal with that. You handle with that. As soon as that becomes your energy, you will become an enemy. Now you are a problem. Matter of fact, you've always been the problem. And you know what you got to do? Be unbothered by it. That's the awoken impact. Unbotheredness. Not giving a damn about how somebody now feels because you are protecting your peace and your energy. Unbothered. Of course, if I do you wrong, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to try to make it better. But if I introspect and I look at the situation and I'm not wrong, and you're just offended because I know I'm not wrong, you're offended because I'm not doing what you expected, I'm not giving what you wanted, I am not obligated to help you see that. The awoken empath. When it's time to go, it's time to go. No matter who it hurts. When it's time to speak up, it's time to speak up. When it's time to cut off, it's time to cut off. <laughs> Point blank, period. And a lot of us have become major threats because this is how we are. Naturally, this is how we've become because of what we went through. 
We are, we are warriors and it's by default and it's never gonna change. And if anything, they placed us in position to now walk in this healing journey on these healing paths that is creating the best versions of who we are. <laughs> I feel sorry for any narcissist that may try to come into your life while you are healing from what you just went through. They may come in, they may crawl in, but they're not going to last because you know so much. You have so much strength. You are you are so in tune. You are so awoken. That ain't none of that narcissistic BS going to work. They can try it all day. It'll always backfire. They're all going to fall right in that narcissistic pit. Trying to bring you down, trying to ruin you, trying to destroy you, trying to rush you in relationships trying to confuse you, trying to cause self-doubt, trying to destroy your self-esteem, break down your confidence. They can try it all day, but as soon as you catch on to it, it's over with. Finito. Game over. Checkmate. Because <laughs> this is a game of chess, not checkers, with these clowns. If you're not awoken, the clown will keep making you a laughing star. Once you awaken, you sit back and you see how much of a clown it is and how laughable their tactics are. How laughable. What a joke they are. What a joke they symbolize. Just, just big old cowardly clowns. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I appreciate your time on this beautiful day. Go out here and thrive. Take care of yourself. Take care of your 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 energy, your being, protect your peace today. Love on you, pour into you in some kind of way. Until next time, stay beautiful, stay true. Continue to walk in the best version of yourself. Continue to, to take your power and keep it. I am with you. A lot of you are hated because you're strong as hell and they can't stand it. And I am with you. I know 100% how it is to be you. Own that. You are the bomb. You are strong. You are amazing. You are highly in tuned. Own that. I love you. Until next time. Stay blessed, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.